Hi guys. So for today's reading, we are going to be looking into some messages from your ancestors that they would like you to hear right now. Things that might help you along your spiritual path and on your journey. Um, we have three piles today. Pile one, two, three. Take a moment to get in touch with your intuition and your higher self and pick the pile you feel most drawn to. And if you enjoy this reading, please like, comment, share, subscribe. It really helps my channel to grow and it also helps to spread these messages to other people who may need them as well. And it's a great way to show an energy exchange for the one that I am giving here today for you. Also, if you'd like to show a bigger exchange, you can donate to the channel. I have my PayPal link and my Amazon wish list both in the description box below. And my SD shop is down there with some of my paintings from my channel as well. And I hope you guys enjoy this reading. Let's get started with pile one. For pile one, we're going to read the channeled messages first today. That way we can make sure we're getting really into what they're wanting to discuss. You have dealt with many call callous and careless people. Take your power back. They are a distraction from your path and your purpose. You fill them with your energy when you focus when your focus is on them and your vibes are lowered because of them. So if there is somebody that you find yourself continuously drawn back to thinking about who um when you find yourself drawn back to thinking about them, your energy is automatically lowered. You are automatically in a less happy state. You are um, all of a sudden questioning what you're doing or where you're going or what you're working on. You're constantly thinking about what they're doing or what they're going through or things like that. And you can feel it draining on your energy. This is who I'm talking about. People that are constantly pulling on your time, pulling on your energy, people that have hurt you, people that have betrayed you, people that have stabbed you in the back, people that have walked away or left you or went after somebody else instead of you. Um, anything like that where it is pulling on your time and your energy to think about them. They may have even been people who were dishonest about the way they were feeling and were insecure or were jealous of you. And when that gets into your energy like that, it drags you down and it is time to let those things go and it is time to focus on things that raise your spirits, things that raise your vibrations. And you know what? I'm also going to grab some letters here because I just kind of want to see maybe some names will come out for some of you that it's a specific person you really have a hard time letting go of or you're just not seeing it because you don't want to be seeing it. P. G, U, um, for some of you it could be some kids, Pug, F, <laughs> that made me think of Fugly, uh, somebody could use that word, Q, G, somebody could be very stuck in the 90s, <laughs> L, Plug, Plum, Z, J, H, K, J, Judy, Y, Judeen, D, V, T, Tug, Tub, Butt, Bug, Bye, Guy, Lug, Jug, John, Berry, Mary, Here we go round the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. Here we go round the mulberry bush. Okay. Uh, somebody could sing that song and the old version of it, not the, um, not like the version that people normally sing of it. Like, all around the mulberry bush, the monkey chased the weasel. Davy. David. Benny. Luigi. Um, I don't know if anybody's even named that anymore. Uh, if you are going to be a shepherd, you can't hate the sheep. 
Others will follow where you lead when you choose to lead. Don't hate the copycats and take the responsibility very seriously. With great power comes great responsibility from Spider-Man. Besides, you wouldn't have leaders without followers, right? They make the leader. So stay humble and choose your words and your actions wisely. So, you've dealt with a lot of people who have hurt you. And I feel like a lot of these people are going to be um, stepping up into their power because I feel like you have been working with a lot of healers that were hurt, that were down, that were in their lower vibrational energy. And they are going to be snapping out of that and they're going to be following your lead up out of the darkness. So try not to hate those people, but try not to focus on them or put your time, energy, and effort into them. Try not to pay attention to people who are um, copying you. It, it's sometimes, yeah, it can get on your nerves. Think about a big sister whose little sister is following her around all the damn time and saying everything she says behind her all the time. And take it as a compliment. That is a compliment to you and your leadership. They are trying to be like you because they love you. So stop being upset about it. Golf. Gulf may be important, like the Gulf of Mexico. 